Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you need to find something, you likely go to Google, or maybe you ask the question in the chat room at live.parola.com. Either way, I'm guessing you've been to Google before, and you likely have a Google account, a Google ID that you signed up for that uh, gives you access to a variety of services. And if you're logged in to your Google account right now, and you do a search for just about anything, you may have noticed a few new icons in the search results. Google has integrated wiki-like functionality in search results. So let's say uh, you search for something often enough uh, and you know what you're looking for, at least which site you're looking for, you believe a certain result deserves to be higher in that list for you, well, then you can click the corresponding icon to move that result. Again, just for you. It's adding wiki-like functionality. So I've done a search here for Guitar Hero, of all things, and it looks like I've got a few entries, but let's say I think that, uh, well, I'm, n it, no! Did you hear Wicket? No! Wicket thinks that Wikipedia, he's a little biased, he thinks that Wikipedia is the authoritative source for Guitar Hero. I disagree. That's just my opinion. In fact, I don't even want to see Wikipedia in the, the list of results for Guitar Hero. So you know what I can do? I can click the little X button right next to Guitar Hero. Wipes it out. Just wipes it out. It's gone. It's gone from the list of search results, if I wanted that. But I'm not going to do that right now because you never know. I, I may actually need it at some point. I'm, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, <clears throat> A little cautious about deleting things from search results. Uh, or let's say uh, I'm going down here. Oh, there's an Amazon.com, Guitar Hero, GameSpot, Hackaday, Xbox.com, Guitar Hero News. I'm just scrolling down the list. Uh, XKCD. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's say I think that this... Well, let's scroll up. I want to see if you can see... Watch these thumbnails jump as I uh, decide to uh, bump this up or promote this particular link. Watch these thumbnails as they... They should, they should move down just just slightly. Did you see them? They slightly moved down. Because I decided that Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock Unleash Your Inner Rock Legend from GuitarHeroGame.com was the authoritative link for me when I searched for the word Guitar Hero. And uh, so not only is that going to be there for me, I could also uh, demote it or put it or remove it from that particular ranking if I wanted to. I could also see uh, what other people have said uh, about this particular link in their personalized search results. Again, if I promote it for, for my search, it's only going to be that way for my search, not everybody else's. I can add a comment as well if I want to leave a note. So I can type your comment here, blah, 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 make a public comment. And then when I do that, if you scroll down to the end of the search list, you will see a handful of new options underneath the Google navigation, you know, with the, the numbers, the page numbers. Uh, you can either add a result, so you can add your own result to that list. See, you're integrating your own pages inside for those search terms. Be anything. You can see all your search wiki notes or see all the notes for this search wiki. So the search has suddenly become dynamic. I press all search wiki notes for the word Guitar Hero. I see that four people liked GuitarHero.com. One person liked the uh, Wikipedia page. That was Wicked, I'm sure. That was Wicked because he, he likes he likes it because it's got wiki in the title and everything. So you have a possibility of, you know, making Google better for you if you don't happen to like the top results. You could also leave notes uh, for any particular site that you might want to remember, or things that you want to remember in and around the time that you were searching for it. And these uh, notes, these promotions, these removals are tied into your account. So no matter where you log in, on this computer, on that computer, doesn't matter. If you're using your account, your results will go with you. Again, just you. This doesn't apply. If you, like, remove something from Google, that does not mean... I can only imagine the tech support calls. I removed myself from the Google. I'm not in the Google. It's not going to happen, I mean, at least in that capacity. Uh, so it's, it's really interesting to see Google, uh, you know, move forward with this. I'm not saying that it was broken before, but it's nice to have this functionality, uh, you know, especially from a personalized, uh, uh, you know, experience. Uh, they, I think they've made some smart decisions with the way they decided to implement this. Uh, I haven't used it that much just because um, 
I can pretty much find what it is that I'm looking for every time when I search for something just by being very targeted with the keywords. Uh, I haven't really promoted or removed anything, haven't really added any notes, not necessarily for me, but I wanted to make you aware of what those icons were or just make you aware that they're there. And if you have not yet signed up for a Google account, you may give it a shot. I mean, there's a lot of things you're missing out on, not just the uh, search wiki functionality that is now incorporated within organic Google search results. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line if you know of any other really cool search functionality that's out there, not necessarily on Google. Or of course, if you are a, a fan of the wiki, this is probably the most usable wiki I've seen to date. It's just easy, it's straightforward, anybody can do it. You can click an icon, it's that easy. And uh, we don't really have a wiki on geeks.perillo.com, but uh, we do have plenty of things for you to do, and you can kind of personalize the experience. You can build your own personal profile, and you can you know, pimp it out with whatever you want to do. Some people say it's it's a lot like the different, uh, or it's like it's in between MySpace and Facebook. It sits right in between, and it's perfect for geeks. So many people have said that. So that's what you're saying, not me. Your personalized experience. You make that community what you want it to want it to be. The reason why we started it is because we had all these people here in the chat room uh, who were typically talking tech, and they just needed a place to uh, learn more about each other and meet each other and find out what each other was about. And I mean, we're typically talking tech in the chat room. Uh, we've got this thing going on 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with this live video feed. You can be a part of the experience right now. All you have to do is stop by live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.